in a vibrant, health-focused community center, two dedicated nutritionists, Sarah and Daniel, were engaged in an animated discussion. The room, adorned with posters of food pyramids, colorful fruits, and vegetables, reflected their mission to promote healthy eating and improve the nutritional habits of their community. Daniel, looking at the current dietary trends. Promoting healthy eating isn't just about providing information. It's about changing habits and creating a supportive environment. How do we ensure our initiatives not only educate people but also make it easier for them to make healthy choices? You're right, Sarah. It's about accessibility and support. We need to design programs that make healthy food options available and educate people on how to incorporate them into their daily lives. But considering the complexity, what do you think is our biggest challenge right now? Question. Daniel, in your opinion, what is the biggest challenge in promoting healthy eating in our community? A. Overcoming misinformation about nutrition. B. Making healthy food more accessible and affordable. C. Encouraging people to adopt and maintain healthy eating habits. Answer. B. Making healthy food more accessible and affordable. Daniel. I think the biggest challenge is making healthy food more accessible and affordable. Option B. If people can easily access and afford nutritious foods, it will be much easier for them to make healthy choices. To achieve this, we need to work with local farmers, grocers, and policymakers to improve the availability and affordability of healthy foods. Absolutely, Sarah. Accessibility is crucial. We should focus on creating community gardens, partnering with local markets, and perhaps also introducing subsidized healthy meal programs. Exactly. It's not just about telling people what to eat, but making it possible for them to eat healthily. As they continued their discussion, they explored various innovative solutions that could improve access to healthy foods and promote better eating habits. Sarah, besides accessibility, I think overcoming misinformation about nutrition is also essential. With the current media landscape, how confident are you in our capabilities to address it? Question. Sarah, do you believe our current education campaigns are effective in combating nutritional misinformation? Or should we look into new strategies to enhance our efforts? A. Our current campaigns are effective, but we need to expand them. B. We definitely need to innovate and diversify our education strategies. C. A complete overhaul of our education approach is required. Answer. B. We definitely need to innovate and diversify our education strategies. Sarah, I believe we need to seriously consider innovating and diversifying our education strategies. Option B. Given the amount of conflicting information out there, Leveraging various media platforms and community outreach programs will be crucial to effectively educate everyone on proper nutrition. I agree, Daniel. Ensuring our education campaigns are clear, engaging, and widely distributed will be key to their success. 
Let's also consider involving healthcare professionals to lend credibility to our messages. As they mapped out their strategies, Sarah and Daniel felt a surge of excitement about the potential impact of their initiatives, driven by innovation and a strong commitment to promoting healthy eating. Daniel, considering our focus on accessibility and education, we should also think about the practical aspect. Using technology to provide personalized nutrition advice could help people make better choices. What do you think about developing a mobile app that offers tailored meal plans and nutrition tips? That's a great idea, Sarah. A mobile app could help people track their eating habits, set goals, and receive personalized advice. This could significantly enhance their ability to maintain healthy eating habits. Sarah nodded, making notes on her tablet. Let's also ensure that our app is user friendly and inclusive. With the diversity in our community, we need to prioritize accessibility and cultural relevance. Absolutely. Inclusivity is paramount. We should look into the latest app development technologies and engage with the community to understand their needs and preferences. As they discussed the technicalities, Sarah proposed another idea. Daniel, what about the involvement of technology in promoting community-based nutrition programs? Enhancing our community outreach with digital tools could increase participation and engagement. That's innovative. Sarah, improving our community outreach with digital tools could help us reach more people and provide support in real time. It could differentiate us further from other nutrition programs. Their brainstorming session turned into a lively discussion of potential features, each idea building on the last. They agreed to start working on a pilot program that included these innovative elements, planning to test it in a high-need area within a few months. We should also consider how we present our initiatives. Our communication strategy needs to be as innovative as our solutions. We need to tell a story that resonates with our target audience, emphasizing our commitment to accessibility, education, and community involvement. Right. Let's develop a comprehensive communication plan that showcases our initiative's benefits. Maybe we can launch a series of community events or workshops that go behind the scenes of our nutrition projects. Excited about their comprehensive approach, Sarah and Daniel prepared for a late night, fueled by creativity and the shared vision of transforming the community's eating habits. They were not just planning a project, they were crafting a healthier future for everyone. As the city lights began to twinkle outside, the duo leaned back in their chairs, their screens aglow with plans and prototypes, ready to tackle the challenges ahead with their innovative solutions and a clear vision for their nutrition initiative. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of healthy eating community gardens shared spaces where local residents can grow fruits vegetables and herbs promoting access to fresh produce and community engagement personalized nutrition advice tailored dietary recommendations based on an individual's health needs preferences and lifestyle, often provided through digital tools.
subsidized healthy meal programs, initiatives that provide affordable, nutritious meals to underserved populations, often supported by government or community funding. Nutritional misinformation, incorrect or misleading information about diet and nutrition, which can impact people's eating habits and health. Digital outreach tools, technologies such as mobile apps, social media, and online platforms used to engage and educate communities on various topics, including nutrition.